Hey guys, it's Crazy Kid 5 for 1, and today we are doing a What I Got for Christmas. And today is a special day because of Christmas. So, yeah, we got Fire to Freddy's, a thing off of Chrono Bomb, and Bionicles, and things. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you on right now. Okay, so the first item of this Christmas special is the Phantom Foxy plush. Now this is a Target exclusive Finance of Freddy's collectible plushie. So he has the eye patch as usual. He has his nose, his teeth, this is, and this is a different fabric from all the other ones. It's kind of like a bit rough. Like the other ones are smoother. So yeah, Target exclusive. On to the next one. So the next thing on the list is continuing Five Nights at Freddy's is Pirate's Cove. Now if you ever want the set, it's a Walmart exclusive. So you gotta find it at Walmart. It was very hard for us, sadly. And so yeah. So you get a Foxy figure. It's like... You get Fox... Technical difficulty. You get Foxy figure. You get the sh the Pirate's Cove where he sits in. You got out of order sign, cause that's him. You got curtains which are made of paper, which should be felt stuff. Okay, so here's a close up of Pirate's Cove with uh, the out of order sign, the textured stuff, the curtains which are made of paper, sadly. You get a little speaker right here you get the figure which is very which you can tar articulate very much you can take off the head you can take this thing all apart like you can just demolish Foxy then you also get the ship wheel get the checkered board separation get the sorry of order sign so yeah in the box, you get, you see Foxy right here, it says Pirate's Cove. It's ages eight and up, so uh, set one, one, two, zero, three, two, 94 pieces. It says Finance and Freddy's here, Freddy Foes Bear. Mc this is the company, McFarland. And then here's the back saying how it's compatible, the exclusive, the office, back, all the other Wave 1 sets. And then it has description in like a whole bunch of languages. But the top is a uh, human language, English. And my language, because I don't know anything else. So yeah, next thing. So next on the list is the office, which comes with the elusive golden bear, Golden Freddy. And the office, where you sit in the game waiting for, to try to survive the night from scary bears and foxes and but and chickens and bunnies. So yeah, here's the office. Uh, it doesn't have the doors, so this is kind of like you ran out of power or nothing there yet. It comes with a whole bunch of stickers that you can place around the set. It comes with balloons, make your day happier inside of death place. Uh, you get a fan, some monitor, mon monitor, you get monitors, you get another speaker, and you get a cupcake thing, and then you get, and then like everything else, you get a window, the doors, then you get the checker field, the desk, and then you get like a pipe thing. And then for Golden Freddy, he he's always sitting down, but they want you to play stuff deathly. And so you can open his mouth, you can show endoskeleton, take him apart, have his jaw only showing, head only showing. And it's, Golden Freddy is the same thing like Freddy, but golden of course and it's very hard to get him because he mostly shows on the first night only so you can move the leg the waist uh move the legs 
you can move those. Uh, you can take off, you can take out the microphone. It's pretty simple. It's hard to do it on camera. Eh, who cares? So yeah, this is Golden Freddy. He's mostly golden, because it's Golden Freddy. Uh, so the thing with these is that you can put them on different sides. Wave 2 doesn't have this, but like they have these pieces. So what you can do is you can put these anywhere and then you can connect the sets together. So you can make your whole FNAF 1 with the backstage, office, pirates, cove, all that good stuff. Yeah. Next, oh wait, box first. Uh, so here's a box. It says the office. It's 119 pieces, ages 8 and up. So that's why it's for Freddy's McFarland Company. Here's the sides. Uh, here's the, this, it says, you're the new night guard, you're the new white night watchman at Freddy's. What can possibly go wrong? Well, you're wrong. Anything can go wrong at Freddy's. Yeah. So then it shows the pictures of the office, the golden Freddy figure. It's compatible with Legos, Mega Bloks, anything. And uh, then shows all the other sets. This is also a Walmart exclusive. So, yeah. So, next we got the show stage. And it's the biggest set uh, that we have so far. And it has the most figures. So, here's... I'm going to start the box first this time. Oh, God. Yeah, it, come, it came with a lot of extra pieces. So, still eight and up. This time it's 314 pieces. It says the show stage. And it comes with all three figures, but it only shows Freddy, and you have to build the rest. It depends on where you live, though, because some videos I see Bonnie on there, and some videos I see Chica. So it depends where you live. This is also Walmart exclusive, unless you're in Canada, or else that's tar Toys R Us exclusive. Hey. So yeah, you see all the characters here, and yeah. And then here's the back saying, Join Freddy and the gang on stage for a party that you'll never forget. And compatible with sets, also exclusive, I don't see it for shows on the box. All the other sets, yeah. So yeah. Now on to the main set. This is the biggest one of them all. Uh, you gotta be careful when you're taking out like these pieces because I ripped this sadly. So it's you can simply just put tape on it. It's fine. Zazz fixed. So it, starting with all these like plasticky parts. Well, it's all plastic, but you know what I mean. It says happy birthday because parties. It has the whole bunch of like paper people. Stars it comes with a vending machine. Not a vending machine. It comes with an arcade machine, which you can take off, and it shows game over because someone lost. It has all the stickers and yeah, joystick, more stickers. Oh yeah. Well, let's start with this side. So it comes with a checkered floor and. It's more details, because I forgot to say this in the office. Like, these black and white pieces are, like, detailed. Because, like, they're, you can feel, like, dirt or something on there. So, yeah. And then, starting on this side, now that I have the vending machine up. Why do I keep calling it vending machine? The arcade out of the way. You can see an exit sign. More stickers everywhere. Rules for safety, kids' drawings. So yeah, that's that side. You can easily put it back into. Now starting with the main part with all the characters. You got Bonnie the Bunny, Freddy the Fazbear, which I call it. It's actually Freddy Fazbear. Then Chica the Chicken. It's not duck. It's a chicken. And like pizza. So starting with this, just take out all the characters right now. So uh, it has checkered. It has a checkered uh, thing, and then it has like a whole bunch of bricks and a cloud. Then it has the little stage, which is bigger than the rest, because 
higher. You got a uh, you got a whole bunch of balloons. Oh yeah, this door leads to the backstage, and I have that. It wasn't for Christmas. Then this is probably the entrance, cause uh, it's pizzeria. You gotta come in somehow. And this is probably the safe room that phone guy talks about. If you know the game, put the balloon back on. So yeah, this one comes with the most stickers. Yay. And so now for the figures, cause that's all there is. It's the biggest. And it has more of the connect stuff. So yeah. Full 360 view is glorious. Oh yeah, more thing. I sound weird, crazy. My name, E. Yeah. So now for the figures. The only one that stayed put was Bonnie. So here he is. He's all purple. Uh, same thing with Golden Freddy. You can move the arms, legs. This head's tight, so it's hard for me to open and close. I have it as they're performing, so his mouth's open. And then, like, you can position the arms as he's playing his guitar. So, and then you can take off his guitar if I can do it. Hold on. You can have him, like, if he's shut off and not playing his guitar. And then if you take it off, it looks like he has a belly button. And then you can see his tie. You can see his tie and stuff. So here's his guitar. It's pretty accurate. And then it's red, blackish, green. So yeah, guitar. Then here's the head. I can't take it off. <laughs> so here's the head. It comes with. Oh yeah, what I like about McFarlane is that like their head, their heads are always unique. Like they don't, they never have the same style, except Golden Freddy and Freddy, because they're the same mold. So this is Bonnie. He comes with little buck teeth, like the bunny. And this is how their Wave One's uh, mouthpiece was. It's different, like Wave Two, except if you get a. Uh, Toy Bonnie and Toy Chica, they're the same way. So Bonnie. And then here's Freddy missing a leg because sometimes they get stuck on the show stage. So this one was in the box so you didn't have to build him. So you can open and close his mouth. You can move his hands. You, you can take out the microphone as well. <coughs> okay. And then he has his bow tie, his black bow tie, black hat. You have the same type of mouth. And yeah, that's Freddy. So now for Chica, the chicken, not a duck. Uh, you got, you have Mr. Cupcake, which some people call it Carl the Cupcake. And then you can move her arm, her hand. You can move Cupcake upside down. She's mad at it. It's smashing the floor. And you can move the legs, of course. She has a bib that says, let's eat. This is also hard to take. Okay, no, not that time. It also has a bib that says, let's eat. Look, there you go. There's her beak. It's long. Her mouth open all the time. There you go. So the final thing about Spines and Freddy, I didn't forget, totally not, didn't forget, is uh, the Funko Bonnie. And this completes my collection because I had everyone else. So yeah, you can see the side of Bonnie, the Funko Bonnie right there. It says Bonnie, vinyl figure, Funko Freddy's up top. And then you see the side view of it. It says Pop Games because it's made by Funko. Uh, same with the plush. Uh, you see a bit of it right there. Big words of Bonnie. You see all that you can collect, at least the non-exclusives because there's exclusives. 
So yeah, this completes my set of Freddy, the Chico, Foxy, Springtrap, and Nightmare Freddy. And then on the top, it shows Bonnie. And then here's Bonnie again. Can't get enough Bonnie. But Foxy's my favorite. Yeah! So here's the Funko version of Bonnie. He keeps saying Funko and Bonnie so many times. Uh, he comes with a little tail. Uh, you can move his head around. It's a he. And he has black eyes. That's how all the Funkos are. That's how they're made. He has teeth all around. He has a bow tie. It's like the McFarlane version, but not at the same time. Because, like, they're all... His ears are blocky, and they're bent. Yay. Uh, you can't do much with them. They're more of collectibles. You can move their head around. So yeah, Bonnie. Now I want to buy uncles. Okay, so now starting with my uncle is uh, Umarak the Destroyer. And he's the biggest one that I've got so far. So I'll do the box later. So here he is. Uh, he's big, tall. And so he's been corrupted by the mask of something I forgot. So here it is. It's like fused with his big horns and stuff. So you can simply just like lift up the horns and take it and it flies off. Then you can move the head so that's what it looks like. You can ram into things because horns. Uh, this is the only point of his head where he can move. The rest is put on a uh, stud so he can't move that. And then um, he keeps some of his traits. And before he became Umrak the Destroyer and when he was Umrak the Hunter, like he keeps his uh, shoulder traps and like his little thing, but he's like all buffed out now. Like he didn't have this big of a chest plate before. And these parts are stickers, if you're wondering. So yeah, uh, this is his spine, stomach. Stuff. Here's the back of him, and you can see a part of a feature that I'll show you in a second. Uh, this thing sent. Uh, last year, they were able to like move their hand. Like you had a switch, and they moved their hands. But this year, they don't really do that. And like this year, now you can like move their waist a lot. You can do a full. Okay, not a full 360. And then he keeps his traits of his legs, but not like actually his normal legs, because that will be puny against that. So he has his long toenails, he has his shoulders and stuff. Uh, he has two things, like he has the big type of uh, creature paw, and then he has the little ones to for him to stay balanced. So you can bend it right here as like he kicks or something and then like you can balance it like right here and then uh, you have this part that moves which is hard sometimes. Okay so now for the arms uh, it's pretty simple like he can move full 360, uh, he can move all this. And then a feature on his hand is this part in the back that he can clamp his arms together. So like he can grab a mascot out of one of the toa, or like he can like crunch something in his uh, arms. So he can do that for both of his arms. And then it's got one of these like crystallized pieces. That is. So yeah, it's Umarak. Then now I'll show you the box. Oh yeah, and then you can also move the fingers separately. So yeah, Umarak. Put that side. So this is his box. It says on the side, Umarak the Destroyer. 
And this is like the second wave kind of because it shows this mask. And then it just shows the, it shows ages 8 through 14 is a set 71316. It's 191 pieces. And uh, so here's the back side of it. And it shows like uh, the mask and how like he can clamp his hands and how he can move the waist. And then it shows how you can just launch off the mask. And if you get all the beasts, like Lava Beast, which I have, Storm Beast, which I don't, Storm Beast and Quake Beast, which I don't have, plus Umarak, you can make like a big version of it. And then on every um, box, it shows like a bit of a comic. And then this is Umarak before he put the mask on, and then he became like Umarak the Destroyer instead of Umarak the Hunter. So yeah, on to the next thing. Next on the list is uh, Imiku the Mask Maker. So let's start with the box first. Uh, this is like his powered up form because uh, his like true form is like smaller and stuff. So this is like when he's all powered up and like full blue. Uh, this is an age 7 through 14 set. It's uh, set number 7132. One, two is 94 pieces, and then, like I said, it says Imiku the Mask Maker. And then, uh, so here's the back saying how you this one contains kind of the old one where like you can move the arms. And I forgot to bring the mask here, and I'll show you on the next one. So then you can move the blade around, it shows how you can take off the mask and then do the waist thing. And then the same comic. And then it shows the face. And then here's Imiku, the mask maker. And uh, he's like all bluish and gold. So what you can, so you can take off the mask and here it is. It's like full blue, trans transparent blue. Like literally almost the whole entire thing is. And then once you have it on his mask, he has a green, greenish yellow eyes. And then you can move the saw blade. I have him like in a battle stance as he's about to bite, fight or something. And then he has his shoulder guards, his hammer, which that's the part where you can move it, which I never really like this feature, so I kind of just keep it like this for now. And then uh, you can take his hammer out. It's two pieces. Uh, there's no special feature with this, uh, with the hammer. And then uh, you, here's the back side of it with the waist thing and his uh, legs and stuff. And then uh, if I move this out of the way, you can see his uh, his chest plate with like all this bionicle writing and how he's all powered up and stuff and then he has oh, some of them are like cracked -ish and stuff like they give a squeaky noise this one's one of them so yeah not too much to Miku but here he is he's trying to stop Umarak from summoning his Brother from the Shadow Realm. I spoiled the show if you haven't seen it yet. Sorry, but on to the next thing. Here's the final my uncle. It's the Lava Beast. And before I do any of this, uh, let me show you the mask that I forgot to show you that came with the Miku. Uh, it's like a corrupted version of uh, Umrak's normal mask before he came Umrak the Destroyer. And it's like all silver right here, and then it's all like red. So that was that set. And then, so now here's the Lava Beast. And I'll start with the box. Move you out the way again. Uh, he fell. So this is Lava Beast uh, picture. It comes with like a corrupted type of form of, of the Toa Fire's, uh, what's his name? I forgot, but who cares right now? It's not about him. 
So it's ages 7 through 14. It's uh, set number 71313. It contains 114 pieces and it's called the Lava Beast. Wait. His name was. Eh, I forgot. Uh, so, and then like the Umrak set, it showed that if you build, have all these, it makes Umrak the Destroyer. And this is a special feature. It shows the waist stuff, and then the head, and then it comes with a little comic. Then the corrupted mask of, what's his name? Uh, I'll try to remember it. So here is his glorious lobby body. Uh, here's the mask of the Toe of Fire. Still trying to find out his name. <clears throat> so here it is. It's all corrupted. And so here's the Lava Beast. So he has movable arms and stuff. So his special feature is that these like wing things. So he's able to like move them around and stuff. So like, I have him in a battle position as he's ready to battle. But I'm gonna have to move him out of the position to show you guys and gals. So he's able to move his away so like he can dash his wings at us. And then he has tiny little claws. He has like bent up feet. And then uh, same thing with the other uh, arm, you can move it out. So like you can have him as he's flying or anything like that. And then like he has two movable parts on his uh, head. So he has this movable part, like his neck. And then like he has his actual head that can move. Like you can have him like looking up and then like adjust it like kind of like that. Like you can pose it like that, but I kind of move it all together. So yeah, not much to show this one. Full 360 view. And yeah, that's Lava Bees. On to the final thing that I got. Besides a shirt and a $25 coupon to Toys R Us. So the final thing on our list is Chronobomb. And it's like a bomb game where you're trying to like uh, def like defuse a bomb, and like you have all these lasers, which are actually just string. It's ages seven and up, and uh, it says cr mission: cross the laser field before it's too late. So you're trying to defuse a bomb, and then this is what it shows on the top, on the side, on the other side. And then on the back is just saying, one, easily install your laser field however you want. Two, choose how long you have to make it through the laser field to stop the bomb. Three, oh yeah, it says no, strings imitate the laser field experience. Three, carefully maneuver through the laser field without touching the string. If you touch it, the countdown will accelerate, so then the bomb will go faster. And then four, defuse the bomb and save the day. So yeah, then time to open it. Oh well. So you got all those stuff. You got instructions. You got something in here. You get something. You get something. Other oh, sensor. You get the instructions. Okay, yeah, it says everything on here. It says sensor clamp. You get a real clamp. You get the bomb, the standard clamp, and sensor. And then you can play this with only yourself or your friends or family. And then like you get a whole bunch of cars to play with stuff. So this is the sensor. And then this is the stuff for like the wires and stuff. And here's the bomb. So 
I'm gonna blow up the world. <laughs> so here's the bomb. Uh, you just clamp it. Does it, does it, it needs batteries. Right? Yeah, it needs batteries. I can't blow up the world yet, sadly. So here's that stuff. Here's all the clamps that you just clamp around your house. Then like things. I don't see it. oh I found the string. I found the string I think. I don't know. I'll find this out later once I play with it. And then here's all the clan open the instructions. Nah. Then you get the sensor. So I'm guessing what you do is, yeah, you plug this into this. So then uh, it knows if you, that if you hit any of the wires, that it like makes the time go faster. Cause what happens is I'm guessing that, okay, I get it. Like if I find if I know how to do the wires, I see something in there. I don't know. So I, I'm guessing this is the main wire thing. Okay, I'm getting wire. Come on, I need more. Show me the wire. Maybe like you hook up the wire here, and then once you ever hit it, then it moves to something inside of it. And then like that accelerates the time. And then if you're too late, it explodes the world. And then you DID. Dead. So that everything that I got for Christmas. So bye. I'm gonna blow up the world now. Mwah.